Hello everyone and welcome to Bath Garden Center. The summer heat is finally upon us and you may be wondering what is the best time to water your gardens or your lawns, maybe even your trees and shrubs. And we wanna talk about some of our best practices to water during the hot summer months this year. If you actually water at some of the hottest parts of the day, your soil is going to lose a lot of that water that you just put into the ground. It's actually going to evaporate maybe up to 50% of that water that you just watered with. So our recommendation is to water during the morning time when it's a little bit cooler or water in the evening. That gives your soil enough time to soak up the water and really penetrate the roots of your plants, which is really what we're going for here, a deep watering rather than a light, shallow, quick watering. And you may think that you might wanna water your plants in the middle of the day when you're seeing them wilted and when it's really hot, but that's actually your plants just conserving energy. Wait until the evening. If you see that they're still wilted in the evenings, go ahead and give them a good deep watering, but try not to water at the heat of the day. When we water, we want to try to keep our water to the soil rather than watering overhead on our plants. And the reason for that is because a lot of the times if you see little water droplets still sitting on your leaves during the heat of the day, if those water droplets have not evaporated, they can actually act as little magnifying glasses and leave little burn spots on your leaves. We also wanna to stick to watering in our soil as well because when we're watering overhead, that can also lead to wind sweeping up and other things that are possible for bringing in disease to your plants as well. So we want to avoid powdery mildew. We want to avoid any other diseases that might be swept through your plants. Can we overwater our plants during the summer? It is actually possible, yes. Some of our plants, like our annual baskets, might need watering twice a day, just because they could dry out a little bit faster. But some of our other plants might not need that much water and they might be a little bit more sensitive to that much water. So make sure you're just keeping track of your moisture levels in your soils. And you can find moisture meters here at Bath Garden Center. And another great way just to check the moisture in your soil is sticking your finger in the soil. And if it's feeling dry within that top two to three inches, it's ready for a good watering. And one of the most important things about summer watering is being consistent. Consistency is going to be key when keeping your plants healthy. So whether you are watering by hand with a hose or you have a drip irrigation system, setting your timer with your irrigation system in the morning or in the evening is going to be best and just making sure you're hand watering at those times as well and giving it a nice deep soak a slow deep soak every morning or every evening instead of that fast and shallow watering we really want that uh, water to penetrate your roots. Now all of these are best practices whether you are taking care of your trees and shrubs, your annuals and perennials, or even your vegetables and fruits that are in your garden. Uh, all of these things that we have just mentioned are great tips that can help your plants survive throughout the summer months. And just remember that different plants might have different needs. So an uh, overhead sprinkler might be best for your lawn, where a drip irrigation system might be best for your perennials or your trees and shrubs. So if you ever have any questions on how to water your plants, please let us know at the Garden Center or drop a comment down below and we would be happy to answer your questions. Thank you for watching and we hope you have a great day. One moment. <laughs> Lost my words. Here at the Garden Center. Garden Center.